and this is We Ride Motos. My name is Glenn. And I'm Carrie. Hi and welcome back. You know, we've been fortunate enough to take some trips to some pretty beautiful places around the world. And we feel pretty excited to take you along on this journey. And hopefully we'll be able to share some tip trips, trip tips trip with you tips. along the way. <laughs> we're feeling mostly organized for our trip. Our plane tickets were booked. Our first few hotels were confirmed and our bags were partially packed. We were daydreaming about the beauty of Italy and uh, we were really getting anxious to get back to Milan where our bike was stolen. So once we arrived in Milan, plan was our first leg, the journey was up into the Dolomites. So we'd done part of this at the finish of the last year's trip and uh, we wanted to get back up in there because it was really great. With two weeks before departure, this happened. And when it jumped the lake, we were evacuated. So now the fire was on our side of the lake. We hooked up the trailer, got the truck ready to go, threw our passports, our bags we'd packed, our plane tickets, everything into the truck, and left. We didn't want to not be able to go on the trip. So after a week of watching the fire updates and found out our house was safe, didn't have to worry about it being burnt down, so we got and we got downgraded to fire alert. So we were able to return home and get ready with one week to go. Big shout out to all the emergency personnel. They did an amazing job saving many houses. Those hastily packed bags, we finally took flight. We finally arrived in Milan. We caught the Malpensa Express train directly into the city centre. It took about half an hour. We had downloaded the route to our Airbnb ahead of time, as we didn't have that yet. We'll talk a bit about that, um, getting a SIM card in the next episode. We walked through the imposing Sephora Castle on our way, and Milan was just starting to come alive as we packed our way through the park. Just before the sun was getting ready to set, we found our accommodation. We quickly freshened up and went out for our much-loved aperitivo before hitting bed. We'd heard about um, when you're booking your airplane seats to book right at the back and you have a better chance of actually getting an empty seat next to you, which is much more comfortable on a long-haul flight. So we decided to try that and as the plane is loading we were excited to see that sure enough we had an empty seat beside us a big bonus so then we looked behind us and there was a whole row behind us that was totally empty and we checked with the stewardess and she said yep yeah, it's empty you are free to use it if you want so it was 
a great bonus. It was as good as first class, eh, Glenn? Mm, not quite. But that being said, the people that were coming down to use the bathroom at the back weren't very happy with us because we're stretched out across three seats and sleeping and they're all crammed up in their little cattle coach. So, yeah. so anyways, it, uh, it worked on our way over and it gave us a little more comfort. Well, that's a wrap for this episode. Join us in our next episode when we reunite with Pepe. Hopefully he's still there. He's been sitting in uh, the storage facility for a year. The Apple AirTag says he's there. Yes. Although he did go missing for about four months on the AirTag. So. <laughs> that's true. We'll see. Anyway, that's what we're going to do next time. Uh, and we'll also talk about green card insurance. Making another quack blooper. <laughs>